everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to try to debunk the top five Norwegian stereotypes that I heard before I came to Norway. Um, so, let's get into this. Number five. Everything in Norway is covered with snow and ice. Okay, well, I'll admit the winters are a bit cold here for me because, well, I originally came from Southern California, born and raised, so yeah, weather conditions are extremely different. Um, in California, we have couple seasons, I guess. We have summer and spring is the easiest way to do it. I mean, there are also for southern, you know, Los Angeles County type things, there's other jokes. We have uh, summer, we have fire, we have spring, and we have floods and mudslides. So that's, that's the, I think, the four seasons of California, right? Um, yeah. So in Norway, we have actual four real seasons. We have the, the four changing of the seasons, which I think is great. It's something I was never really used to, and I'm very happy to uh, to have that experience. I did have a little bit before I moved to Norway. I was up in Oregon for a couple years, which I did get the nice feel of what it's like to have some true seasons. So that was great. But here in Norway, it is the real deal. So we get the full blown winter where it is covered in snow and ice, and it gets cold. For me, what is cold? Well, when it's below you know zero Celsius, it's, it's you know you're looking in the negative temperatures for me. Um, that's frozen because back in California. Negative two, I think, was the record of cold. So average winter temperature as cold in the middle of the night is like eight, positive eight Celsius. And um, yeah, that's cold for me. So even summer here is relatively cold. Um, but that being said, right now, summertime is, you know, a pretty average 15 to 20 degrees Celsius, which is actually on the colder side from what I've been told. Um, it normally gets um, up into the mid 25s, so even 30s um, sometimes. So it does get warm here. Also, during the summertime, you have sun almost the entire 24 hours. Um, it does dip down below the horizon. Um, I'm south enough, you know, like close to Oslo, so where um, we do get some night, but it's never full 100% darkness. Uh, the sun sets somewhere around 11:30 and up again at 3:30. So yeah, there's a lot of sun. That means there's a lot of green. No snow, no ice. Um, there is a lot of rain this season, though. Seems like every other day it's rain, then sun, rain, then sun. That's just kind of weird, but that's the way it is, and that's normal. So we do have three seasons where it's not typical to have snow and ice. Number four. All Norwegians are pro skiers. Okay, when it comes to the Winter Olympics, uh, it's easy to assume that Norway... Um, is definitely full of pros. They hold first place in the all-time medals of uh, of the Winter Olympics with like 329 total medals, 118 of them being gold. Um, I think United States was the next one, and it was almost a hundred medal difference. So, and that's all times uh, Olympics. So, yeah, it is safe to assume that they're really good at it. And I will also say that it is a very favorite pastime during the winter. Um, and for some, it's also a favorite pastime during the summer times. And how do you probably wonder how they do that? Well, they they have these skis with rollers on them that people use. So there's a lot of that going on. But you know what it is? Norwegians love to stay fit from what I can see. In general, as a culture, they're always on the move. They like to hike and um, ski and uh, play soccer, football, um, and just do sports in general. Very active people. I, I see people all over the place jogging and whatnot. So, yeah. In general, very active people. But, you know, I've met a lot of Norwegians that don't ski. They either don't know how, they don't care for it, or it's just not something they're interested in. So, yeah, not all Norwegians are pro skiers. A lot of them are great, though. <laughs> Number three. All Norwegians are Vikings. All right, well, first off, Viking is not a race. It's more of a lifestyle or kind of a group of people. Um, so there was also farmers and hunters and all sorts of other different things. So yeah, that's not necessarily true. And technically Vikings are an extinct um, group of people. <laughs> I will say, of course, if you track back somebody's ancestry in, in Norway, you'll find that probably a lot of them do have ancestral connections to the Vikings. Um, but not just in Norway, of course, because they were in Scandinavia, but they also branched out all over the place. So they even, you know, were in the Americas because they were the first um, non-natives to go to America. I guess technically discovered the Americas, and they were in 
um, the United Kingdom zone and Ireland and all that, and they were also in the Middle Eastern areas and down Southern Europe and Africa and all over the world. So Vikings were everywhere. Of course, concentrated here, but they were, you know, explorers, and they they like to get out and do the thing. And look at Vikings. I mean, they're they're pretty much known for, unfortunately, um, rape and robbery is <laughs> the easiest way to put it. Um, so yeah. Not all Norwegians are like that. So, anyways, they're they're the Norwegians are not Vikings. Um, they do have the heritage, but they don't do what the Vikings used to do. Number two, there are polar bears roaming the streets of Norway. Um, yeah. Well, here's the fact: there are no wild polar bears on the continental mainland of Norway. They live on an island named Svalbard, and that is far north between the mainland and the North Pole, so uh, they are living in their North Polish zone, which is pretty much common territory for a polar bear. Um, so yeah, there are no polar bears that are roaming the street. I mean, really, you think that Norwegians have polar bears as pets or something? No. Number one. Norwegians are mean or antisocial people. I actually have read this in several what to expect when moving to Norway guides. Um, and in my experience, this cannot be further from the truth. Norwegians are open, caring people, very warm, um, they have a very strong sense of community and family values. However, Norwegians are also very fond of their personal space. So I think where these guides get this kind of their mean or, or unwelcoming people is if you run into a Norwegian on the streets or in public transportation settings, those type of stuff, it, it's not common for them to want to just strike a conversation. Um, in the States, it's very common for us. If we sit next to somebody or if we bump into somebody or even just passing someone on the street, if we meet eyes, eyes that's we're going to say, hi, how's it going? You know, Does that mean we want to make conversation? No, but it's just like the acknowledgement thing. Or sometimes, yeah, we do get in and start talking about more. And some people in the United States, you might find they'll share a little bit too much of themselves. But that's that's our culture. So just like we have that culture in Norway, they have their culture. And, and it's more of if they don't have something to actually say to you, they're not going to want to make eye contact and start talking. Um, it's not because they're not warm or anything. It's because they don't have something. They're not just going to randomly come up with stuff to talk about. It's just not the way it is. Um, also on a bus or train or something like that. If there's empty seats around, they're going to look for the one empty seat that is alone. And so they can sit alone if they are alone. Um, don't, don't make it, you know, don't go out of your way to go and sit next to the one person, especially if there's other open seats with where you can sit alone too. Because yeah, that's just the way it is. It's not that they're mean or anything like that. It's just that is the way the culture is. So yeah, stopping someone on the street to talk to them or just say hi, you're probably going to get that kind of cold feeling, but it's not because they're cold people. It's just because they don't know you and they're feeling uncomfortable. It's just not their culture. So there's that. So there you have it. Hopefully I've been able to debunk a couple of the stereotypes that you've heard of and make you feel a little bit more comfortable to come visit Norway. Um, so yeah, if you liked it, Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. And um, got some more stuff coming up. So if you are interested in what I'm talking about, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thank you for watching. Ha de bra.